<laughs> Got your sap loss, both cases with the BMSs in, and I wanted to upgrade to Bluetooth display. Um, they should have sent me them in the first place, but they did actually send them me. Um, so they replaced them. So I got two of the displays, and as you can see on the back, they've got the Bluetooth module there. There's the part number there. Um, but these can only be used with the latest BMSs, which is the 10E V16, which they, they all are now anyway. So I had the standard display on, which is non-Bluetooth. So they sent me two of these and a fitted one, just temporary. And it does work. There's a few little settings they had to change with the laptop, which I'll run through in a minute. So I'm going to change them both now. So I'm going to strip them down and get them chucked in. So first things first, switch my inverter off. That's uh, switched over to the mains now because I've got that contactor in there so it automatically switches over. Switch my batteries off. I'll make a load of noise. <laughs> and then I'm going to hit the reset on these to shut these down. Shut that down. Shut the bottom one down as well. There we go. Let's wait till they shut down. I'll take all plugs off and everything. So it's the old one out. Chuck the new one in now. So that's the first one in, all screwed in nice. So I'll put all the front and the lid back on on that one and then get the other one in the bottom one. So that's the second one out as well, up there on the top. So you can see the difference if I turn them over. There's a Bluetooth one and the shade there. And there's a standard one there without the Bluetooth module on the back of it. So we'll get that one chucked in as well now. So both of them are now in. So now we can hit the reset, start them up. Same again with the other one. Start that one up. And they look pretty much the same really. But you'll have a little emblem down there when you're connected to Bluetooth. So I'll get the laptop connected and go through the settings. So just a USB to RS485. I've got the one with the little Ethernet plug on, but you can get the one with just two wires. But if it's the Ethernet plug, I think it's pins one and two on that end. Go to pins seven and eight on this end. I think they're seven and eight anyway. Um, but it's only two wires anyway, so you can't really get it wrong. So yeah, plug that in the RS485. Can do either one or two, whichever, do not matter. Make sure all the dip switches are down. And then you've got to use the battery monitor software, but you've got to use, use the latest version. So this is version 2.1.9. So... Just double click that. Wait till it loads up. Uh, I'm on comms port three. And you want the baud rate to be 19200. There. And then connect. That's connected. So then you want to uh, log in. So you want to do admin and then password admin again. 
press N, uh, and you're logged in. Then you want to go to Upload Parameter. I'll open these boxes up. Go to the switches on the right hand side. And then just scroll right down to the bottom. And you'll see your Bluetooth function there. So Bluetooth communication function. I've already turned it on. But it's just a case of switching that on. Yeah. And then you can you can set all there, which will save it. Well, I've already done it anyway. And then that's it in that software. So then you can disconnect that and get out of the software. And then we can move on to the Bluetooth then. So I'll just go and get my iPad because I'm recording on my phone. <laughs> so when you first open this BMS software, you've got to put admin as the user and 111111 as the password. But I've got two devices there, so I can click on any of them. And when it's connecting, see it there, the little emblem's just popped up, Bluetooth. So that's loading. And there's all your parameters. So that's it, jobs are good in. So yeah, you can do quite a bit on it. Um, you can go down to the bottom on this and where it says multi, because I've got two of them. Just give it a minute to load. See, I've got two of them there, but I'm connected to this one at the minute. So if I select that, then I can change all the parameters to switch settings, like what we was in on the computer before. All the switch settings are there. Uh, you can edit them and then you go back and you can set all the parameters just like you can on the laptop software so all the parameters are in there and they're bundled up into nice little groups there so yeah you just set them and click the edit button and save it so yeah it's all good to go and obviously you can see all your usage and your battery capacity and everything there and the temperatures so yeah it's not too bad yeah, so that's it. Jobs are good then. So yeah, I just thought I'd uh, do a little video on updating them. The screens to Bluetooth makes things a little bit easier to mess about with the settings. Without a laptop, you can just sit down in the front room. It's all back up and running again. Getting charged. Switch it on. There we go. The big thud. Back on solar. Happy days, mate. Getting them amps in there on each battery. Bit of sunshine. Get 33 amps at the minute. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for this one. I uh, just thought I'd do a little update on how to change the screens and update them for Bluetooth versions. Uh, there's a couple of other videos, like there's a full install on this one, on my channel, and there's another full install on my garage, what I've done as well. Um, they're both using like the Grow Watt inverters and uh, Seplos BMSs and that, so you might find them useful. So thanks for watching, catch you on the next one. Boom!